Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about the uh, ways in which we can put arguments in a function. So there are the following ways which I have written here. There is a positional way, then there is a default argument, then there is keyword argument and at last there is variable length. So when we have don't know that how many arguments we need in a particular function, then we'll use this variable length. So first we'll see the positional length. So we have declared a function with a function name person and we are giving two parameters name and age and then we are printing first my name is my name is then give the name parameter and then we are going to print my name is then we are going to print the age parameter. And now when we call the person, then we have to give two values. The first one is for the name. So we we'll give the name. Then the second one is for the age. So we'll give 19. Now when I'll execute the code, we'll see that my name is Python coding and my name is and my sorry, I have to give you a name age. And my age is 19 as in printed. So as we know that at first we have to give at the first argument we have to give the name and then at the second we have to give 19. So we have given first 19 and then uh, age 19. But when we don't know, so suppose I am first print a uh, space so that it will be more clear in the output. Suppose we don't know that at first you have to give name and at second we have to give age. So what we can do, we will first give the name and then we will give the name that is python code so at at first place we are giving the age and at the second place we are giving the name and now we'll uh, execute our code so we'll see that in first calling we have given in a correct way as we know that at first place we have to give name and at the second we have to give age so it is printing my name is python coding and my age is 19. now in second uh, when we are calling in the second time when we are calling the function we don't know we don't remember that uh that we have given name at first place and age at second place so we can we are printing age at first place and name at second place so you are seeing that my name is 19 and my, my age is python coding so here the positional arguments occur so position at so when we are declaring parameters so we and when we are calling it so we have to remember at what a position we have uh, give the what uh, give what uh, parameter so that uh, it will be uh, correct information will be printed as the and if you don't remember then you can see here as here my name is 18 and my age is python coding has been printed so values will get exchanged so we don't want that so for that we have to remember remember at uh, so for that we have to remember at what position we can we have to give uh, which argument so this was for the positional arguments now we will see the default argument so what is happening in the font argument that we will take the same example we'll, we are printing the name that is python then coding now now here we uh, we have a uh, we have different names but all the names of the person having the same age so for so if the all the persons have the same name or if in a function uh, when we have to create two three or multiple functions and all the functions have at same uh, default value so we can uh, we can do that we can give the value of the age uh, default in the function uh, in creating the function at that time only so what will happen so in the function calling we don't need to give the age again so now when i'll print it you will see that my name is python coding and my age is 19 as printed now will i again print a space and then I'll, if i'll call the function now this time i'll give the name that 
clcoding.com. Now this is my name. Now that was the first, and the age is also ninety. Now in this also the age is ninety. So what we'll do? We'll print, and you'll see that my name is Python, but my age is nineteen, and my name is clcoding.com, and my age is nineteen has been printed. So by giving default values, it will work for. Uh, it will work for every time you will call the function. The default value of age will be uh, every time given. So you no no need to give that uh, default value. And if you'll give the value, so what will happen? So suppose I'm giving here twenty one. Now, so what will happen? The first one go. The first function calling is going to the default, and the second one in which we have updated the value has get updated. So my name is CL calling out Tom and my age is twenty one. So whenever we want to update the value, so we can give the age parameter. So it will get updated. And when we don't need, so we doesn't need to give anything. It will be uh, defaultly it will be taken. So this was the default argument. Now we'll see the keyword arguments. Now in keyword argument, we'll take the same example again. And we are printing name, and then we are printing age. Now this time, ah, uh, we have seen that at positional we have to remember all the name, age, and Position of the each parameter. I'll add one more here. So name, age, and I'll add. I'll add mobile number, mobile, and then I'll print mobile two. So now, uh, in the function calling time, we have to give three arguments. One is the name, then second one is the age, and the third one is the mobile. And suppose there are Many more parameters, and we don't uh, remember the position of each of each parameter. So what will happen here? We can use the keyword argument. So what will happen? I want. I have. Uh, I can remember that there was mobile. A uh, mobile parameter was present. So I'll first give the value of mobile, and I'll give it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I again remember that there was age also. So I'll give age nineteen. And then I remember that there was name also, so I'll give name and I'll give name to Python coding. And when I'll print it, then you'll see that at first Python coding has been printed, then 19 has been printed, and then my mobile number has been printed in this order. So what is happening here? The values are not uh, getting exchanged as I have given the in descending orders. We have Given the uh, when we were defining the function, then we are given the parameter as name, age, and mobile. But when we are calling the function, then we are given mobile at first, then at second age, and then name at last. But then also it is printing in a uh, proper manner, and it is printing the name at name, and age at age, and mobile at mobile. So uh, you can know that. what are the benefits of keyword arguments so you don't need to remember the position of the parameters you can easily uh, use the arguments by giving the name of the parameters and then assigning the value at that time at the time of function calling itself and it will execute now we'll see now it's time for the variable name so why we use the variable name the arguments so when suppose suppose we want to store uh, the information of a person so we don't know uh, which person has which type of uh, data present at uh, present at them so suppose someone has first name and last name then someone has mobile number then someone doesn't have a blood group test yet so what will happen Uh, every person have different different types of information so for different different types of person how we can create a, a parameter how can give parameters here so for that what we'll do we will simply give double asterisk so what will happen here 
so when we'll call the function suppose we are calling the function here and a particular person has a first name and i'll write the full that first name of a particular person is suppose ram and then it has a last name also we have a, ram has a last name also so that last name is suppose ram misra and then uh his blood group is also present at so his blood and then group is uh suppose o positive and he has mobile number also so we can store mobile number mobile i'll simply write mobile and then i'll give the number 12345678910 as a mobile number now what is happening all these values will get stored for the person uh for the particular person for the person ram now what will happen uh when will uh, when i want to print suppose i want to print now information i'll simply print it and you'll see that all the uh arguments you have given has been printed now if i want to print a particular uh particular argument so suppose i want to print this ram i want the only name of that person so what i will do i'll just simply print i'll give here square braces and then i'll give the key keyword name so for me here first name i want to print the first name ram so i'll write the i'll write this first name here and when i'll run the code you'll see ram has been printed and again what will happen uh, if i'll give a space and then i want the same thing for suppose there is one more person and his first name is and his first name is what uh, his first name is bholu and his last name is sing uh so bholu has only first name and last name so what will happen now when we'll run the code now this time we'll getting a error so i'll fix the we'll see the error why it's coming an error so we found that error we have given the name wrong here we have to give first name and when we'll print this so you will get the first names of these two uh different different persons from the uh one function itself so here is ram and hum so this is the uh keyword arguments uh, in variable now we'll see that uh now we'll not use a keyword we'll simply see i'll give you with an example variable lens of numbers so suppose we want to uh we want to we want a function for adding two numbers so we'll take name sum and then we'll pass parameter a and b then we'll do what then we'll store the values and see that a plus b and then we'll simply print uh sorry then we'll simply print c and we'll call our function sum and we'll give two values that is 34 and 78 for example and we'll, when we'll print we'll see that 112 is the answer of 78 plus 34 now now suppose we have now this time we have only two alpha uh, two numbers and we want the sum of two numbers but if we don't know that uh any time we can it not possible that each time we have uh two numbers only we can have three numbers four numbers then we have to print the sum of so we can't make a function of uh then again we'll make a function for especially three numbers then we'll make a function for especially four number so we can uh, for that we can do that on we'll do that that will make this be a tuple and then we'll assign this value of c to 0 and we'll use the loops we'll use the for loop uh so for i in b so first i'll show you that uh, 
for the convenience i give here more numbers uh, there are four numbers that are enough and first i'll uh, i want to print first we to show you that that these uh, arguments are uh, what they are becoming so here you can see that these arguments are getting stored in this b and when we are printing this b then this print uh, b has become a tuple so we'll print the type of the print the type of the b to check this not printing why we have to use an inside r so you can see here these arguments have become uh, has stored in a tuple b uh, that tuple has uh, th that our b has become a tuple now when we want to uh, print the sum of this all the four uh, arguments so what we'll do we'll just simply give first we'll assign the value c to 0 in which we are going to store our the sum uh, in which we are going to store our sum and then we'll use a for loop so for i in b we are doing that we are will doing the sum so so for c what will happen what is happening here that c is uh, that c will get plus with i and then will get stored in c itself and then we are going to print then we are going to print our c and we'll run our code we'll see our answer 2 to 4 means the sum of these four arguments is 2 to 4 now we can increase the value also we can give anything and that much value you can give uh, many numbers of value so, but uh, it will print the answer so you can see we have taken uh, suppose we don't know the number of arguments to for the addition or for any program so we'll just simply do that we'll make this b uh, we'll give before this we will give an asterisk so that it will become a tuple and all these uh, all these arguments will get stored in this tuple and then we'll uh, using the loop then we print out the sum so this was it for the arguments in function so we'll see in the next day three video so thank you for watching the video